Hi, I'm Tony Fleming and welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Welcome to another episode of I Should Have Bought It When I Saw It. Here at Fleming's Ultimate Garage, we are talking about a spectacular piece. And so as we look below at the like button and subscribe right there, you'll see it down there at the bottom of the screen. Let us know what's happening. Don't forget to, uh, to click on those, but also like to talk about these things. Tell us a little bit about maybe a time that you rode in one of these, maybe when your grandparents had it, or uh, back in the day you always thought about getting one. These cars right here may or may not be in your wheelhouse as far as like I grew up in that era, but it doesn't matter. When you see this car, you smile. And you smile because this is the dawn of the jet age. America's power was coming on board, and all the styling features in this car says to me, power, jet, and what have you. And as we walk around and we see, things like the jet intake engines here, right? This kind of setup here, the rockets, the flares, and then when we get around the back, you'll see the exhaust from the jets in there. It's all these great little touches, man. These are some of the best looking cars. I love these cars. So everybody says, well, what are your top, you know, 10 cars? Well, in my top five is this body style because it's the coolest. This one here is particularly, particularly uh, super rare. So it's original EA coded 283, 270 horsepower, factory four barrel setup on this car. Can you hear what I just said? Yes, with this ridiculous air cleaner. The air cleaner is probably the best looking air cleaner on the planet. When I open the hood, you're going to go, wow, that's the best looking air cleaner I've ever seen. All right, let's check out some paint for a second and we'll talk about the quality of that and let's go and get rolling. So the part about Lark's blue paint right on this car, I've always tried to say that three or four times really quickly. Not happening. Anyway, uh, the paint and the complement of the interior together. When you go to a show and you open the hood and whatever, this is the car everybody flocks to because of what we're going to see right now. So come over here, take a walk with me for a second, and let's look at wide white radials. As we walk around this car, listen, this car was not a super easy car to drive back in the day. It had a lot of power. It was very manual, manual drum brakes, manual steering, you know, three speed, and just a lot of work to go fast and whatever. You, and this one here is the way I would do a car. This is all set up originally, but it's got a lot of hidden modern components in it. And we walk around this car, you're going to say, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. But the great part about it is anything that's been done to this car, and it's all been done recently with lots of receipts, thousands of dollars worth of receipts, okay, can be turned back to stock if you wanted to. One of my favorite things in the entire world is wide white tires. So the bias ply tire that came on the car originally, radials were one of the greatest inventions to ever happen to the automobile. I would say they're in the top three, believe it or not. The ride and driving changed. 50 to 100% depending on the car. Remember the days when the tires would be so cold in the winter, you'd hit a bump and you thought the car would break or it finds a rut in the road and you're over there in the weeds. This eliminated all of that. It's a game changer. So here, all right, radial wide, wide tires. They're expensive, but they're worth it. All right, secondly, on the inside of there is power disc brakes. These cars came with drum brakes. It was like stepping on wood after the third time. Imagine this kind of power and not real modern brakes. This has it hidden inside there. We shaved the caliper to try to fit them in that size wheel and it worked out really well so it works out you're gonna love the way it drives so we're talking about style of cars man you know you see somebody in a cool suit with a great tie sometimes a cool like a sports star wears this great suit with a with a bow tie right he's on the camera and you go, man that guy is put together this car is the car that's put together this stainless insert right here the gold badging that's all the way around the car that came from the factory that is awesome the gas cap 
Do you know where the gas cap is? Well, if you do know where the gas cap is, tell us down below because 99% of the people don't. And what I love about it is I say, hey, to my buddies, I'll drive this car home and they'll come over and say, hey, when you go out in the car, could you check the gas cap, make sure it's tight because we're going to probably need to get some gas. I'll come out there 10 or 15 minutes later, they're still wandering around going, and these are car guys, and they don't know where the gas cap is, but we're gonna find that out in just a few minutes. All right, so part of the detail of a show car is, first off, the package tray there. If you don't love the speakers there, right, if you wanted to keep the interior all stock looking, what I could do is order a new package tray and then mount those underneath. And then no one would know they're there, they just have the holes for the speakers to, uh, for the sound to come through. That's up to you. Again, this car is designed to be a collector car, but it's also designed to be tr uh, drivable. It has a modern, uh, sound system in it that looks old school and we're going to show you that once we get inside. But anyway, let's get inside the trunk here because these are what they're famous for. So when we did the conversion in the front, there wasn't a lot of room for the uh, battery. So we went ahead and we moved it back here. We can always put it back up front if you want to, right? But it's beautifully painted in here. The insulators are in there. This is all wet sanded and buffed and detailed, right? You got a real spare tire in here with a jack and all those kinds of things in case you need it, right? And to the fit and finish, instead of this being spray bombed, all the same color, you can see somebody put time into changing and doing the detail stuff in here. And that's what I like to show, because you know what? It takes a lot of time to do that. The style of this car, look at this, man. When this car is behind in the rear view mirror, you can't help but watch. Look at people, they'll always look back and they'll tell you the person in the passenger, look back, look back, because the front end is so beautiful. The color, the color is what makes me do this. The front end says to me, wow, somebody put a lot of style into these cars. I don't know if you know this, but they built over a million of these models in 1957. Over a million of these models. Most manufacturers would love to sell a million of everything they sell. This car was so popular during the time, but unfortunately, ones like this with the two four barrel cars, first of all, were very expensive for their time. And secondly, these are very expensive to restore, and this is the way you want to buy it. All done and ready to go, and when you open the hood, right, you go to a car show, and you open the hood, and this is what you see. You're like, oh my God, what is that? So come on up here and let's talk about that for a minute. This has a date code on the front of the engine. It has the casting number that's supposed to be right on there. The EA code for the dual four barrel, 270 horsepower, 283 V8. This engine has been rebuilt, the transmission has been rebuilt, and the rear end as well. The engine, I feel, has a little more power than the original 270 quote. So I think that when you're rolling down the road, you'll be pretty impressed by that. But what I want to point out is that this customer chose to add modern cold air conditioning and modern heat. So we have that over here as well, which most of these cars do not. And with a dual four barrel car, you couldn't get that. So we had to modify this to make everything fit. Power disc brakes, we talked about that. Now the car stops and does what it's supposed to do, but it has the correct clamps and GM hoses and some of the detailed things like that. But if you don't want these items in here, we can certainly take those out, okay, and make it bone stock. These cars are going up in value on Sunday. That may or may not hurt it. I doubt it because most people want a cool car like this that they can drive and everybody can go for a ride in it. Can you imagine going out uh, in this and just the difference in the experience? This is the style we're talking about. Check out the floor mats to this cool fabric. These are the kind of fabrics that were on your grandmother's couch. Remember your grandmother had this beautiful couch, but it had plastic on it. We weren't allowed to sit on it. You remember that couch? This couch is inside here because that was the fabric of there. The headliner, beautifully done, right? The rounded roof. Just so much detail in here. The fabric in here and then this trim piece here. They don't, they don't have a car of style like this today. There are great interiors out there, but this right here, circa 1957, is why this car sold the way it did. All right, so now let's get inside the car. All right. Oops, seals are so good. You need to put a little effort into it. All right, so footwell lighting working. That says to me right away, somebody spent some money on some restoration. Obviously a brand new interior, new carpets, headliner, uh, dash paint, door panels, armrests, window cranks. Uh, this shifter right here converted to from a three-speed standard to a four-speed. So now you could go to the beach in this car. So this car stocked the way it's supposed to be as far as engine and uh, the important parts like the rear end and what have you. Upgraded one extra gear, right? The original steering wheel. They also sell this in a steering wheel that's two inches smaller if you wanted a little more room in here. You can get that done. Um, stock dash. But this is kind of cool because it's an original style radio. All right, but this has all of the nice features you can plug in like CD, iPod, uh, AM, FM, all that good stuff. The air conditioning system is run right to the original HVAC system, which is just a cool feature. My guys did uh, 
uh, such an awesome job installing this. It took us a long time to retrofit it to a two four barrel car, but it's been done and it works like a champ and you're just gonna love the idea of going out to dinner with another couple, another couple that jumps in and goes with you to dinner or the kids go with you. It's a game changing experience and it's a life changing experience this is why I get smiley when I think about it. All right, so we close up the video. We have a beautiful folder of receipts, beautiful, tons and tons, thousands and thousands and thousands of upgrades and receipts on this vehicle. We have, uh, a fabulous sounding vehicle, a car with a lot of power, the color combination, I mean, you can say whatever you want, the color combination is the seller for me, and uh, it was just fabulous. So uh, I look through the car and I say, wow, what a beautifully restored car, what a great driving car, and at that point there, you gotta figure a way to get it into your life. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000, we're gonna tell you all about it. Don't forget, if you don't mind, to uh, click the link below uh, for more info. And the last thing I wanna show you before we turn this hold sign, into a sold sign for you, all right, is where we keep the gas cap. And the gas cap is right here, hidden inside the, this. Beautiful.